I've been a Norwegian all my life. Uh, I was born in Oslo, the capital of Norway. I started skiing uh, at the age of three years and by the time I was six I did uh, 1000 kilometers a year. I've done everything. I've been hitchhiking, I've been busing, I've been walking, I've been bicycling, I've been paddling, I've been sailing, I've been uh, skiing, I've been all possible things, climbing uh, on all continents to see what the world was, uh, was like. What documentary or movie are you presenting at the Adventure Film Festival? I'm presenting uh, uh, Exit North Pole. It came at a time when there hadn't been any, any expeditions to the North Pole for very many years. And the plan was to go towards Svalbard. Uh, but conditions and everything turned out to be extremely difficult uh, that year and uh, it became much more dramatic and much wilder than we had planned. How did you meet Mike Horn and Borg Auslan? Borg ha have been a friend of mine for a very, very long time. We met actually first time in the beginning of uh, the 80s uh, when I was going to cross Greenland for the first time. So uh, we started off being kind of colleagues, uh, wanting to do something, and then later we became more and more friends. I started uh, an adventure company and did that for 10 years before jumping over to Borga and then being a colleague and a friend of him ever since. So he was looking after someone who has had a different mind, different set of experience. He stumbled across Mike Horn and we were saying, Mike Horn? Are you crazy? Why? And he said, he's a nutcase. He has the hardest head. He has done amazing things. He is so strong in his head and body and everything. We would be the perfect thing. So I met Mike first time uh, before that trip. Can you describe your role in this adventure? I was trying to masterminding this, uh, this thing. I was looking after weather and distances and, uh, and safety and things like that and it was kind of an overview. It was something that we had never experienced so it became an enormous difficult task and uh, Mike and Borger really deserved uh, recognition for that. Now that we know you better let's find out what adventure to be you were. Are you ready? I'm ready. What kind of adventure did you dream of during your childhood? Uh, in the beginning it was just skiing. Later I went Svalbard from north to south as the first to, to do the complete trip. What was your first adventure? And do you have any funny stories to tell? Well, the first adventure that was kind of a big success was actually Svalbard. And it was much colder than we had planned. We had planned maybe minus 20 Celsius and it was minus 40 Celsius all the time. We didn't have enough food. And we, when we came back to Longyearbyen, we went to a restaurant and they, we looked at the menu and we ordered all the five starters. And then we ordered three main courses each. And then we took all the desserts. And the boss of the, uh, of the restaurant came over and said, i never seen this. I'm going to give you a very good bottle of dessert wine <laughs> to go with all the desserts. So that was really worth it. So that was a fantastic, uh, very, very beautiful uh, trip. What advice would you give to young per a young person who wants to go on an adventure? Oh, call me. It's the best thing to do. First, you have to find it easy just to go out there and have fun and things, or are you going to reach a target? The first trip very often, even though it's not perfect, it triggers an appetite for the next thing. So what is important is that at some stage, you should set yourself a goal or a trip that is outside your comfort zone. Once you set your target outside the comfort zone, something completely different happens. What would you say to the young Lars Ebersen from 30 years ago? Take the first jump and get started on looking at this world. It's a fantastic world. Start looking at it. Start appreciating it and start doing whatever you can to preserve it.
Uh, what adventures do you still want to achieve? I've done so much in Africa and I've done so much in in Australia and other places and uh, in America, but not enough in uh, in Africa. And I think that is a big problem. More people should travel to Africa. More people should uh, come back and tell good stories about Africa. That's uh, that's a must. To finish, we have a little surprise for you inside the next. The hat next to you, you will find question kids from St. Joseph Elementary School wanted to ask you. That's fantastic. You know, let's go. Okay. Oh, that's a long question. Uh, did you have news of your relatives during your expedition? Wasn't it too hard to leave them? It is very hard. Information and taking care of those you, you love is very, very important always.